good morning. Welcome to another episode of Run with Julia. I am in West Ham on our way to Stratford International, on our way to the Olympic Park to do another warm up for the Run Through UK 5K and 10K. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. Actually, I've never, I've never been to the Olympic Park, which is interesting. And Adi did all the, um, created all the assets for the Olympic Park. It was a company he had back in 2012. And I'm going to take part in the 5K, but I'm not going to race it because I'm just going to do the warm up for everybody. And then I decided I'll do it as a training session where I'll warm up for five minutes in the race and then do 90 seconds fast, 30 second recovery jog. And I'll do that for the whole distance, probably be about 10 of them that I would make up and just see what happens. Yes. Well, I didn't create the assets. This is the Olympics. He created the software that monitored the assets of the Olympics. <laughs> We're going the right way for the run through 5k and 10k because lots of runners walking this way. <laughs> and I can hear music. So here we are, just about to arrive. Run through village. Wonderful runners, if you haven't already, go and grab your race pack. Race pack collection tables, wallet labels, no keys, easy peasy, go and grab that envelope. I don't know if we even do envelopes anymore, no, look at us. Halfway to paperless, I love it. We're here and I have just been described on the microphone as a professional warm-up artist. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to adopt that. When people ask me what I do, I'll say I'm a professional warm-up artist. So I'm just going to practice with Anadi my professional warm-up and everybody's gathering, all the volunteers and people who are going to run the race. And as always, there's a lovely vibe that runs through always create. Go. Hello. 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 <laughs> We've just met. We Hello. don't even know each other's names. We do not. Hello, my name's Ad. I'm also known as Dat Fit Hawk, and I'm the host of the DTS podcast as well. There we are. There we are. Hello. You look amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, are you not cold? No. Like you've got to show off your beautiful, beautiful art. Thanks. Um, I made poor life choices when I was 18, and now I am covered in tattoos. <laughs> No, they look um, good. They I, look I, good. I, They're I, very colourful. Thank you very much. So tell us about you. You're going to run. What's so the I'm currently running, uh, doing the 10k today. I've got my club's uh, 10k record on my shoulders, so I've got to beat 37:21 today, and then hopefully, that's, fingers crossed, take that's the club your record. record. No. That's the club record. So that's the Steven Strider's club record. My current time is 37:38. Wow. So looking not good. a lot. Not a lot in it. That's looking good. So exciting times. When did you run your 37:28? Uh, last week. Oh no. Yeah, like two weeks ago. So I was actually here and did it on this very course. So I've come back to try and reclaim uh, reclaim that little crown. Well, we're going to have to find you at the end. Make very sure possibly. You can see that. I'm only going to do that. I'm warming up. I'm a professional Perfect. Warm -up I love artist. a professional warm-up artist. <laughs> so you're that, professionally that, warming that, that's, up. That's my, that's my, that's my favourite job description ever. <laughs> I know, it's just been given me today. That's perfect. When did you start running? About four years ago. And what made you start? Uh, I wanted to be a better dad and then and I just kept running and kept running and now since then it's been fantastic. And you are a better dad? Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> you're Sli but you're I'm, a better runner. I'm, I'm, a be I'm a slightly better dad and with slightly less money. So and, it's great. And, great and fun. a much better runner. Yes, 100%. I didn't run at all before the hand and now I'm here. Brilliant. It's so great. good. It's so good to meet you. Thank you very so much. Have Cheers. A great run. Thank you. And you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If you are ready to follow me, let's do this. Are you following? Oh, great. I feel very powerful. I feel like I'm walking away from an explosion. Explosion of people. I mean that Please Just peace yourselves accordingly. You're the best timing man in the business here today, aren't you? Lucky. 
athletes, warriors, champions, Olympians. Wonderful runners. I have a very special announcement. You might have heard the spoiler for this earlier. We are so, so pleased and so proud of Mr. Roger Wallace. Roger, come on over here, you. Roger is running his 500th race today. 500 races in the bag for Roger. He's even got his lucky number 500 number on you. A massive thank you to the organisers of the majority of my races which have been run through. The staff and volunteers have been absolutely great. It doesn't seem five minutes since I turned off my first run through event back in 2016 at Woodward and Common. I'd like to say a big thank you to all those that have had the pleasure of taking up the tether over the past uh, eight years, and there have been 167 of those, so thank you to those. And also a big thank you to my partner Debbie for this has been moaning God knows how many times on the way home from races but having sore legs. And I love being described as a professional warm-up artist by Trinity. It's like you, you roll. But I was actually one of the first PTs in 1977, and I was one of very, very fast runner in the early 80s. And I can't run quite as fast, but I'm still running. And I've seen this running boom, and it's been quite amazing. I didn't know when I was 24 in 1980. Something that I would put 40 years later be warming you all up. So let's get going. So we start jogging and then we warm those shoulders. So one arm, two, three, four, five, and the other arm. Completely forgot to say about my, my YouTube channel. Never 
my sugar will find me eventually. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do my training session. Okay, so five minutes warm up, we have got and then for 90 seconds with 30 seconds. Time right, about 10. I did an exact what I said, warmed up for five minutes with Kevin. Kevin and Missy, we met in the summer in Battersea, had a lovely chat with them. Kevin's been recovering from cancer and he's still in the process of just really getting his body and we were chatting in the warm up about how he's really listening to his body. Then I told him what I was doing, I then did 30, 90 seconds fast, 30 seconds easy and I almost exactly did 10. I think I crossed the line in 24, 40 or something. And I loved it, it was great fun, I like training in a race. Been in this city, we were in Battersea Park in about June. It was June. Yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah. June, July. So what have you, how did you? It was wet, it was a horrible day. Oh, Probably like yeah, that. Yeah. So cool. yeah. 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 today first. We've got some 50. Yeah. How are you doing that? Very good. Well done. And what about you? I got round. Well done. Yeah. Well done, guys. Thank you. 54. I've had a few more. Comfortable. It's actually nice and gentle, nice and easy. Enjoying it rather than feeling rough on it. Very good. The event is um, New Year's Eve, isn't it? It's the uh, end of the year 10. In a place called Take it to the table mercy And your boat And is there a gold I love it. I love it. It's a big isn't it? Have you got a, a goal with that with anything coming up? Sorry, get us cuddled in so we can see so you've got a place in London. Yeah. Oh very good. And so what have you got a goal for that or just again get round? Yeah, get round. So. <laughs> yeah, and how do you what training do you do? What's your kind of a, a week, a natural a normal week of your marathon training? Four or five runs a week. I do quite a few of these events as part of the training. Yeah. It's like this is she'll run. It, as long as it's not too far, she'll run to one of these, do the race, and then either run home or do it. And that's her long run. Perfect, isn't it? Oh, I know you have a lovely Christmas. And, you, and, and then we'll be catching up here in the latest. <laughs> Katie's my amazing event manager. She's looked after me twice now, which is quite awesome at Southampton and here. And I've been totally, totally looked after. But your role, you get here at like mad o'clock, don't you? When yeah, you get so, well, so this morning we got here about 6 30, which meant that I had to leave my house at 5 a.m. But we want to get it set up, want to make sure it's ready for everyone when you arrive so that everyone can have the best day, really. And you're always, all of you, a very high vibe. Is that we just have to bring the high vibe and then make sure that the event goes well. Yeah. Well, one of our visions is we, we love what we do, we're innovators, um, we're building a community and I think that's it, that's it. We love what we do, we love the people that we work with, we'd do anything for everyone. So, yeah. It's a great, like it's a great atmosphere to be around. It's never like known it ever. <laughs> and we just met randomly in town. <laughs> yeah. About a month ago in Southampton, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And have an amazing Christmas. Thank you, you too. Well, thanks for coming and hope to see you another one soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> My work of art, I haven't had a sip yet, that's why I have a sip.
lovely. This part of running is very enjoyable and a lovely part of the post-run post experience. And what a lovely experience Run True always create. An incredible community spirit. As Katie would say, thank you Katie again for managing the event so wonderfully. And yes, as she says, it's a community, it's a high vibe, it's friendly, it's always, always supportive. And it's great fun today. I love giving the warm up. Thank you Trinity for my new title. <laughs> I love it. And it was great to meet Ad. Lovely to see Kevin and Lizzie again and catch up with them. And yeah, I really enjoyed warming everybody up and then doing a training run in the race. And I ran the official time with my for my interval session was 24.41. And I've bought a season pass. So the next year I'll be able to run in any race I want in the south for a run through event. So I'm going to use it for training. I think that's everything. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please press the thumbs up, like and subscribe. As Dr. Richard said yesterday, my festive, my festive Christmas special. And if you'd like to be interviewed by me, please do get in touch. Love to hear your story. Love to join with any of you for a run or a if you're meeting an event, an interview on Zoom. And that's it. I'll see you. I'll see you. Oh, I know what I'm doing on Wednesday. I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs>